She grew up as a Baptist in Illinois City. Hindi ko na abutan yung list. She worked as Okay, she worked as the coordinator of the women's program of the National Council of Churches in the Philippines, or NCCP, as well as the national coordinator, co-coordinator of the Association of Women in Theology, or AWIT. She considers herself as a national feminist and expresses herself through writing and passionate work for gender justice. Nice words. Friends, let us welcome Dr. Lisa B. Lamas. Maraming salamat po, sir. Sa lahat ng mga magagandang lalaki at mga malalakas na babae, magagandang hapon. Dapat ang maganda tayo ngayon sa loob at sa labas. Okay, um, I'll be very brief. Pero nagdagan ko po yung aking introduction ng OPE. Ngayon, um, ilagay ko dyan sa program na communication consultant ako ng CCA. Ngayon po ay freelance ako at isang... Uh, Uh, guest formators sa dalawa theological seminaries sa Iloilo City and I teach gender justice, Asian religions and contemporary theologies. I am a feminist theologian and I was appointed or volunteered by the World Wide WCA as its feminist theologies advisor. Grabe, no? Para pati ako natakot doon sa na yun. This assignment na yun, and this is part of my commitment to gender justice. Okay. I'll be very brief. Gender and sexuality, and, uh, a Protestant perspective, I should say. A Christian Protestant perspective. Tatlo lang ating objectives na yun. First, identify Christian teachings, Protestant teachings, and beliefs related to gender, sex, and sexuality. Second, to highlight Christianity's life-affirming beliefs and teachings. And third, identify churches' responses to issues, uh, those issues listed. When I talk of, uh, of or about the churches, I refer to um, the National Council of Churches in the Philippines, A, an aggregation of uh, 10 mainline Protestant churches in the Philippines. And I'm very glad to uh, share with you here right now. And she should connect with YWCA, and YWCA should work with NCCP in its gender program and uh, with its HIV and AIDS program. Okay, next please. So, three major topics. First, patriarchy sa ating religion at kultura. Pangalawa, life neg Christian beliefs, life negating and life affirming beliefs and teachings. And third, responses from the churches. Again, NCCP context ang pag-usapan natin. Next, please. Filipino culture and religions. Alam natin lahat ito, dahil araw-araw ito yung buhay natin. Um, our culture with religion in the Protestant man, ako powerfully influences our sexual beliefs, attitudes, and values. Tama ba? Yes. Okay. That results to how we behave sexually, express our human sexuality. Okay, next. Okay. Our culture, as well as our religion, Protestant man yan, o katoliko, pero I will be speaking for the Protestants, is very patriarchal. Ano ang ibig sabihin ng patriarchal uh, culture na yun? Patriarchy muna ng word. Very um, simple definition of patriarchy. From two words, patri, father, and arch, rule. And literally, it means the rule of the father of the Lord. So, galing po yan, historically, sa pag... Uh, Uh, Greek and Roman law with the main head of the household 
having absolute legal and economic power over his dependents. Siya yung lord, naglo-lord over. So, patriarch. Okay, next, please. Pag sinabi natin patriarchal o patriarchy, may sabihin no? Male dominated, male identified, kahit lang waste mo eh. Generic man, male centered. Tama ba? I-validate nito ha sa experience niya. Okay, may mga donation pa dyan, pero kopyahin niyo na lang yan. I will give you a copy of this presentation. Next, please. Social structures natin, yun ang kanyang nature. Expressions of patriarchy. Dominance of one uh, example is rich over poor. What is it? Uh, male over female, men over women. Sexism. Um, dominance of human beings over nature. Anthropocentrism. Okay. Uh, you can read it later. Okay, next please. Uh, Hindi. Ano? Kalma lang. Madali lang ito. Kaya ang resulta ng patriarchy sa buhay natin, lalo na sa kababaihan, ay ganito. Domestication of women na dapat dahil kayo ang malanganak, sa bahay lang kayo. Diba? Pero hindi na yan. Nagbabago yan. Medyo. Women themselves believe they are inferior human beings. Marami sa atin ang maka-internalize nito. Pangatlo, legitimization of violence against subordinates. Tama lang na iabuso ka para mag-wardhan ka. Pangapat, perpetuation of subordination and control of women. Kaya dahil sa patriarchal na pag-iisip at sistema, and next please, dapat sa... Yun, effects of patriarchy. Okay, next slide please. Okay. Kaya, due to patriarchy, patriarchal thinking and systems, others are subordinated, controlled, exploited, abused, and marginalized just because they're different. They are woman, they are LGBTQIA. Ang gulo, ano? Pero LGBTQ na lang muna. Ano yung... Sino ba? Do you know this? The lesbian, the gays, transgender people, and the queer. May IE pa yan, pero parang sa iso na yan. Later na lang natin i-learn. Kaya nagkakaroon tayo ng gender questions at indinas. Yun ang problema natin, mga kababaihan, at mga youth, at mga LGBT. Okay, next please. So, summary, patriarchy is a social system, the way of thinking characterized by hierarchy. May, may nagtaas, may sa ilalim. Yung sa taas, usually, nag-rule yan. Nagiging modelo ito for every form of domination and subordination. Maintain by control, obsession of control and violence. Tingnan nyo na lang yan sa mga institutions natin sa lipunan. Family, government, church. May tayo exempted yan. Very. Next please. Patriarchy has provided legitimization of sexual violence. Okay. The next piece. Our culture is heavily Christian influenced. Siyempre, Christianity is no patriarchal na rin. Um, Christianity ay talaga walang katawan dyan. You have to obey. Follow the commandments. Especially the commandments and other commandments. Marami yan dyan sa Biblia. Gagamitan pa tayo ng Biblia. Government uh, institutions, parents say, just because I said, but I don't know, just obey. Obey. Um, uh, all authorities are ordained by God. Okay, next please. Predominant beliefs, Christian beliefs. Mabilis pa? Okay, that? Oh, sige. Dualism. Ito, hindi to, ano, hindi to Asia, ni. Eh. Yung separating the body and soul. Mali talaga yan. Is that correct to say that the body is a shell that imprisons the soul and the cells? Okay. Next piece. Ang babae, dahil sa konsepto na yan, ay, sobrang hindi. Iba siya. Ang babae, inferior. O alam niyo ang kwento dito sa ano, creation story, ah? 
Last one. Okay. Hindi na tayo mag-storytelling. Created last. First to sin. Yun ang sinasabi ng mga no, fathers. Church fathers. Anomalous. Sabi na isang church father. Misbegotten male. Nagkamali talaga ang Panginoon. Nang ginawa kayo. Kaya hindi nyo lalaki yung wife. Negatively different. Iba lang talaga siya. Okay, next. Woman's body. Pag sa pinangkatawan at babaeng katawan na yun, ganito yun. Dirty. 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 Hindi na lang ha, wala tayong concept na uh, uh, 40 days of uh, seclusion after menstruation. He will practice in it. Tetris evils. Ano ang galing yan? Alam natin, ha? Okay. If. Pero mali interpretation pa na yun. Object of desire owned by the man of her life. One proof. Who gives this woman away during weddings? Okay. Alam na natin yan. Unpredictable. Moody. Kaya, kaya buti na lang. Binago yung mga legs ng mga bagyo. Ano? May lalaki na ngayon. Okay. Next in this. Mas lalo hindi pinapag-usapan ang sexuality and sex ng body yun, sa pinakatawan yun. And it's considered as dirty and taboo. Topic. Hindi natin mas pag-usapan yun. Ayan, ayan. Yung human rights na yan, sexual rights na yan, secular issues yan. Kaya hindi dapat pinapag-usapan sa simbahan. Kasi ang pinapag-usapan sa simbahan ay... Kaluwa? Eh... Um, salvation of the soul. Soul. Walang body yun eh, kasi dualism nga. And in the church, ito controversial statement, pero totoo. In the church, we don't talk about sex. We just do it. <laughs> Sexuality is controlled by church teaching. Marami yung nagamit dyan sa Biblia, sa kasabi sa Biblia, para i-control ang babae, ang katawan ng babae, ang behavior ng babae. Pero ang nangyayari, next thing, don't please, women's bodies are subjected to different forms of violence. Pag binasa natin ang Biblia, ako lahat nandyan. Violence against women is even justified. Kung may mga sinasabi dyan, si Paul at si kung sino pa dyan, na dapat mag-behave kasundin uh, wives, follow your husbands. Sabay tayo dyan natin. Okay, next please. So, as young people, young people, are you aware of these views? Alam natin lahat yan, di ba? YWCA, young people, are you happy about them? After 70 years of living in this world, but masaya pa tayo yan, ma'am? Masayo. Later mo na lang sasagutin, ha? What do you think of these views? What do you think of these views? Sa mga Christians dyan. Okay, next. Ngayon. Ang patriarchal control na yan of others is expressed through control of the body. Sinabi na natin kayo na, kanina, Using violence as a tool. Advertisements lang may no. Say, ano ka pa? Na, na yan. Klaro, klaro kung ano yung pagtingin natin sa babae at sa lalaki. Next, please. Forms of violence committed against human bodies. Kaya gusto pag-usapan ng YWCA ang mga usapin ito. Sexuality, SRHR, at poor maternal health care, LGBTQ, bullying, lahat yan. It concerns the body. Katawan. Nasaan ang soul? Sige, next please. Life affirming beliefs and teachings. First, all people are created in God's image. People living with HIV are created in God's image. Yung sinasabi nga ng isang African, hindi nawala ang aming Humanity. Immunity lang namin na nawala. Hindi ang aming humanity. Okay, next please. Christianity is a body religion. This is debunking the, the earlier 
concept that body and soul are separate. Ibig sabihin, embodied religion siya. Nagpakatao ang Diyos, ay Jesus. Ipinanganak siya, noon siya sa puki ng nanay niya. Nagpukuk kaya siya sa puki ng nanay niya. Next. The church is the body of Christ. What's so funny about that? Nothing, nothing. Tama naman niya, stay around. We, uh, ang concept kasi ng body of Christ, we are different parts, but we belong to one body. Theological concept na yun. Okay, next. Ayun, ikaw itong pala sila. We are different parts of the body of Christ. Next, please. The Eucharist, communion, in other words, is partaking to the body of Christ. Next. Next, please. It, 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 ang iyong sinasabi natin ang Diyos ay napakatao kay Jesus, yun ang tinatawag. That is what we call incarnation. Naging tao ang Diyos kay Jesus. It says that God lives in creation. Human beings and all other creation. Next please. Therefore, ang sinabi ng Diyos ito sa uh, Genesis story, good Oh, and, and God pronounced that creation is uh, good. Diba? Sa Genesis, sinabi na yun. In other words, good is the flesh that the word has become. Ito, maganda itong katawan na ito dahil gawa ito ng Diyos. Next, please. Therefore, the unity of the body and soul should be restored. We have to recognize and assert that. Kaya sinasabi na isang feminist, body rights is the most foundational of human rights. Itong katawa ng mismo ang may human rights dahil ito yung pagkatao mo. Kaya sinasabi din niya na core ng sexual violence is the violations of your body. Okay, next. Mahalaga itong punto. Ang katawan, <coughs> ang bodies matter. Importante ang katawan. At ang Diyos ay nagiging totoo sa ating pagiging just sa bawat isa, pagiging inclusive natin. At kung ano man ginagawa natin sa ating katawan, it only and other bodies and other people's katawan, it shows how uh, what, what kind of Christians are we. And treating our bodies and other bodies as sacred and with respect. Kung nire-respeto mo at inalagaan katawan mo, gagawin natin sa katawan ng ibang tao. Dahil ang Diyos ay nakakapag... God is in your body, in your whole being, and we are all in God. Ang oh, lalim, parang hindi ko mag-gets theological pronouncement, pero ano no? Ma mag-gets mo ba? Kaya tayo, pinawa ng Diyos. Na hindi tayo maka-escape sa Diyos. Okay, next case. Kaya sinabi ni Eve Ensler na pinaka-radical na pwede natin gawin sa ating buhay ay alagaan natin na ating katawan at mahalit. At huwag na tayong mag-worry na kung ano-ano ka dyan. Kasi habang nag-worry tayo, marami din nagmimina ng mintana at ng cordillera. Katawan ng Diyos yan. Bahagi yan ang katawan ng Diyos. Okay, next case. Kaya sinasabi ng isang pastor na Baptist siya, kagaya ko, I affirm that sexuality is a gift from God. It's, it's not needed. That's why we should talk about it. Not just engage in it, in sex. Next, please. <clears throat> in summary, whatever concerns the body, itong mga nilista ng agenda na uh, why is a theological and a justice issue kung dapat pag-usapan. Next, please. The God of Jesus, the God of the welcome and surprises. Inyan. God of all. In God, uh, diversity and difference are celebrated. Ang pagkakaiba mo ay hindi yung dahilan para ikaw ay subordinate, include, marginalize. Kaya sabi nga, ay ito ay siya na pake, ah, na babake. O, di ba? May iba rin, ano? Sabi niya, I affirm. Exclusion has no place in our faith. Sana nga. Okay, next. 
What about yung picture na babae? God, uh, next please, parang hindi siya kompleto. Um, divine revelation is still continuing and we are part of that revelation. And our God is a God of surprises. Sa ayon kayo doon? Nakatakot, ano? You will be surprised. And uh, it's not just uh, today, but uh, you have to expect surprises every day, every moment. Next, please. In other words, it's a process that is still happening with us right now and will be happening tomorrow and later. We are part of that process. Next, please. Ang dami dyan sa paniniwala na ganyan, may mga responses na ganito. <coughs> Changing attitudes first. Sa context ng NCCP, malaki usapin ang pagbago ng mga pananaw or perspective setting. Kaya ang isang powerful medium diyan ay pagiging ehemplo. Kaya ang general secretary ng NCCP, yung pare na yon, sabi niya, I got tested for HIV. Your um, HIV status is a medical diagnosis and not a moral judgment. Lead by example. Changing attitudes. Um, next please. Batang Baptist. Anak ng dalawang pastor. Know your HIV status. Anong message ang pinapadating niyan? Na hindi nakakahiya ang mag-voluntary testing. Next please. Yung dalawang youth. Ay! O sige, marapit na ito dahil. <laughs> Yun din ang sinasabi nila. Uh, next please. Kaya ang NCCP and my National Medical Gender and Human Sexuality Seminars for Church Youth. Dito dapat mag-connect ang YWC. Next please. Advice to the youth, especially when it comes to HIV and AIDS. Um, if you can't be good, be careful. If you can't be good and careful, be courageous enough to have yourself examined. Marami kang choices at may mga tao mong mag-advise sa'yo. Next please. Sa issue naman ng sexual harassment, uh, pedophilia, incest, pag-usapan natin yan. At alamin, ano mga rights natin? Okay, next please. Learn about, uh, learn and talk about these things. Reproductive rights, family planning, um, sexual preference and orientation, mga pag-aaral talaga. Okay, next please. Love, sex, and marriage. Traditionally, ito yung Christian package. Anong pipiliin nyo, mga young people? You have to decide for yourselves. You have to think and be responsible. Okay, next please. Kasi iba't iba ang mga institusyon na yan eh. Um, the key word here is be responsible. Kaya, next please. Yung sinasabi dyan, um, di. Per, pars, personality, appropriate, and responsible sexuality. Key word, responsible. You have to be responsible for your body and for other people's body. You design your own life. Okay, next please. So, um, yung bishop pa na isa. Discrimination is not a cure. Hindi talaga gagaling yung mundo na to pag discriminate tayo. Pagdagdag lang yan ang problema. Kasi yung next program pala is healing communities. So that's part of healing communities. And uh, building, caring, and compassionate churches. Um, I am a humanical HIV campaign in NCCP and we have materials here for you. A book on really compassionate and caring churches and communities with people living with HIV and AIDS. May mga tao doon sa labas. Brochure at saka poster na ito is for you uh, after this session sa likod. Okay, let, um, next please. Good. Uh, commit to fight stigma and discrimination. Isang pastor. Next please. Okay, at sana mga churches natin, ano no, maingay mo lang po usapan ng mga bagay-bagay na ito. Dahil dapat nating baguhin ang theology. And last, dogmatism. Next please. Parang class na to. <laughs> Exclusion has no place in our faith. 
sabi ng isang pastor at last yun ang ating uh, commitment may, may karoon pa ba? meron pa ba? ayun, last na talaga to religion should open our heart not close our mind let us love differently you can have a copy of this presentation thank you Thank you, Dr. Lamis, for that equally enlightening presentation on the topic from the NCCP perspective. So now, we proceed to our next speaker. Our next speaker is Ms. Maria Lea Dasigan. She works for the Catholic Bishops' Conference of the Philippines, or CBCP, Episcopal Commission on Youth, as the 